We have a special guest with us. He's no stranger to the show. If you've watched our show, then you know George Marcello. He is uh, one uh, Italo Canadian man who is grateful for the liver that he received as a liver transplant recipient uh, two years ago. Uh, and four years ago. Four years ago? Yeah. And to show his gratitude, he is organizing a 2,000 kilometer walk across Ontario, and he starts his walk on Saturday. George, um, I know that you started all of this, but uh, there's so many different organizations and individuals involved, and I know you want to say thank you and, yeah. and hello to, uh, yeah. to several of them. Yeah, thank you for letting me have this opportunity to do that. Uh, first of all, uh, we couldn't get this done alone, of course. Uh, I want to thank uh, Montana Steel, an advertising marketing firm that's uh, been helping us right from the beginning. Uh, Columbus Center for them to use their facilities to work out, train, and hold our uh, gala dinner. Uh, I want to thank uh, the Salvation Army, who's been continuously behind us in every way and, and will be in the future. Uh, I want to thank the YMCAs. Uh, they're uh, at present coordinating over 50 events around Ontario and will be a big part of this. Uh, and least but not last, uh, or last but not least, uh, I want to thank Chin, uh, who's, who, who Danina just opened the doors to uh, most of these by uh, uh, allowing us to come to the show and, and uh, uh, try and reach people, and she's just been a champion with this thing, and uh, uh, I've grown to uh, really get close to uh, Donina and, and respect her, and uh, um, just really happy to, to, to that you, you gave me this opportunity. Thank you, and I think you also want to mention, uh, you're the hero in this, by the way, George, you're a very unwilling hero, <laughs> but you, I think you want to thank Costi because uh, Costi is translating all of yeah. your materials into different languages so that we in turn at Chin can use it. Umberto ah, has sì, a few certo, words to say uh, too. Questo è un momento molto importante perché specialmente in Canada c'è una mancanza grandissima di organi per fare i trapianti. In Europa c'è un movimento un pochino diverso, forse la gente ha capito il grosso problema e qui in Canada abbiamo bisogno veramente di parlarne, parlarne, parlarne e far capire che è importante cercare specialmente sulla patente, scrivere quello che si deve scrivere eccetera eccetera. Proprio per questo il nostro George fa un, pensate, 2000 km per ringraziare, per ringraziare chi ha donato ma soprattutto per far capire ai canadesi l'importanza di donare i propri organi. Quindi step by step uh, partono il uh, sabato 26 da High Park e tra parentesi George sarà anche qui alla CIN verso, verso le 4. A questo punto noi ci salutiamo, grazie Giorgio. Well, before, before we move on to sì. music, um, George would like everyone to know that June 26th, this Saturday at 9 o'clock in High Park, all sorts of festivities, celebrities will be there, there's a picnic, children's activities, music games and much, much more to help George celebrate and uh, engage, take his first step in a step-by-step 2,000-kilometer -step journey across Ontario. And I just wanted to read something from the Pastoral Guide to Organ and Tissue Donation because many of our viewers are Catholic. Catholicism. Catholic view organ tissue donation as an act of charity, love and self-sacrifice. Organ tissue donation is morally and ethically acceptable because this is certainly a very sensitive issue for all religions and there is a pastoral guide if anyone is curious to know about that they can um, call the multiple organ retrieval and exchange program for more information. Thank you George, all the best of luck. Thank you. God bless, Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you. Carla Boni, Carla Boni con il Mambo Italiano.